So before I delete this project again and show you another way, I just want to show you what if we wanted to change the readme file, what if we wanted to change the text down here. What you noticed last time, or maybe you didn't, but what happened last time was pretty much I made this call right here, this echo one. And all the echo one is doing is it's saying, I want to add this text I want to add this text to this file. And if it's, the file is not there, create the file, right? That's all it's doing, the echo. So let's just try and change the information inside the MD file here. And you can just open it with, uh, I guess, with the notepad, something like that. Let's see what we have in here. Yeah, let's open the notepad. There we go. Instead of test, let's say, hi all, this is my awesome project. Ah, uh, way away, uh, uh, something like that. Let's save it. <clears throat> and now let's try and use just some basic commands here that you've done a lot of times. First of all, let's do, do a git status. What has changed? No, a git status. There we go. So then we modified the file. Okay, let's do a git add the modification. We want to add that. And uh, let's say read me. There we go. So now it's been modified, as you can see, with the green line here and the squirrely guy. Now let's do a commit um, with a message of changed the file. Very bad message, but doesn't matter. Now you see an arrow up here now. That's a new thing. That's something new. That's because now we can actually do what we call git push, meaning that the local changes are ready to be sent to github.com. It's ready to be sent and shared in the cloud with whoever I'm working with. So do a git push here. Notice I'm not doing, I'm not doing this dash u origin master because the dash u is kind of a way for me to say I want to store this information so from now on you don't have to write that ever again unless you want to remake a new repository locally. From now on it knows that we're pushing from master to origin every time we do a git push. So from now on you only have to write git push that's all we have to do and now it should send it back to the master. Give it a second There we go, it sends something to the master. And if I go back to the page now, you'll see the text in the readme file is actually being changed here. There we go, now it's different. So you can use this readme file. Every time I add new stuff to the readme file, it'll be displayed below the project. I feel that's kind of important to know. Anybody who visits your site can kind of see this information page called readme.md. That's why it's an important file to know about. See you in the next lesson where we'll try and do it in yet another way on how to create or work with a Git repository.